How's it going there, my lovely listeners? It is your awesome host here. It is Team Rara here. Listeners, how the hell are you doing on this Sunday's edition? I'm doing quite well for myself. It is gorgeous outside for a change. Thank God we're done with the rain for now. Now, no further ado, I'm going to do my introduction and then we'll get right into it. I'm going to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics I'd love to discuss with you, my lovely listeners. So sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some to eat, grab some to drink. Now, if you don't want to do that, maybe you just want to chill like a villain and listen to my thoughts. And I'll put the article down below, and that really wraps it up. So here goes nothing. Now, Dilly has announced <clears throat> last week on Raw that they're going to have a Mota Man match was announced last week on Raw for the headliner for the upcoming pay-per-view Extreme Rules, okay? Now the winner of that will face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Because once again, Lesnar is not going to compete at Extreme Rules. Like the, the last pay-per-view was the Money in the Bank. That's not really unfair, but that's part of his current contract. But what can you say? You know what I'm saying? Now, the reason I want to mention is who will face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam. Now, I know a lot of you want to say it's going to be a Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is finally going to get his opportunity at um, Brock Lesnar and dethrone him and become Universal Champion. Maybe that's the case because Roman got screwed the great um, Royal Rumble. You know, they can't make a decision. And I love how they keep playing it off. And I'm not a hater about Roman. I'm just not a fan of him. Does that make me a hater? Absolutely not. Um, they just don't use him correctly, you know? In my opinion. And another thing about Roman, they pushed him to the um, sky is the limit. They did the same darn thing with John Cena. It was 06, 07 year. And he just demolished everyone on his path. And it's the same path they're using this, um, to do it to Roman. Now I know you guys don't believe me because you guys love Roman Reigns. It's the same thing with John Cena. You guys love Roman. I'm sorry. You guys, some of you out there love John Cena back in the day. Some people cannot stand John Cena. Some people love... Uh, Roman, some people cannot stand uh, Roman, you know. It's not his fault. It's the creators, you know. And he's going to put more effort in his matches. Well, his matches are pretty decent, but his mic skills needs a lot of work, okay? Now, here are the odds, okay? Let's see here. Other names... With the current odds, including Braun Strowman, 14-1. There's no way in hell he's going to face um, Brock Lesnar because he has an automatic ticket to face the champion. Because he won the Money Bank recently. Or, you know what I'm trying to say? So he could cash in anytime, anytime, any year. Um, oh, sorry, anytime, any place. And, um... Varian Corbin, 16 to 1. He's not going to do nothing. Uh, Drew McIntyre, 20 to 1. Finn Balor, 20 to 1. KO, 20 to 1. Bobby Lashley, 33 to 1. Uh, Elias, 33 to 1. Uh, um, Jim Mahal, 33 to 1. Sami Zayn, it don't matter for him because he's out for the rest of 2018. So, who will be a good opponent? To face Brock Lesnar for the biggest event of the summer, and probably my money it, it will be against 
Roman and Roman will get his one on one match rematch for the billionth time and probably get his belt back and then I know where Braun Strowman will cash in and then the throne the champion who that whoever that is it could be uh, Roman to pin the champion and then I know where um, Braun Strowman cash it in on either Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns now if W was smart do it to Roman and then you could have this feud start over once again this time the belt will be online and then Roman that could be the uh, heel and then um hold on don't judge me okay Brock's for crying loud Braun Strowman could be the face and Roman Reigns could be the heel but it's never gonna happen um because Brock Lesnar will be out of the W because you know his contract is ex gonna expire or on the other hand maybe the last minute like the, the last few times people thought Brock Lesnar is, is gonna lose the belt but he resign he regains it and then he resigns with the company so it was stupid he better lose the belt because he you know AK he broke CM Punk record but technically he didn't because that's a different belt but W don't want to go in that they don't want to discuss that you know what I'm trying to say you know, I don't mind Lesnar at all, but if he appears on TV more often, you know, pay-per-views, Raw more often, defends it more often, then I had to respect the guy, but I had no more respect for the guy at all. You know, he's an awesome powerhouse, and of course he agrees with the contract, but why do he give him the universal belt? Not just once, freaking twice. Very stupid. So, I don't know, that'd be so dumb sometimes. So I don't know. I know some people wanted Roman Reigns to be come, be in the Money Bank, and then he could cash in on Brock, but it was not the case. He had to face his Mick Carter, in my opinion, Jamal Hall, and that match was okay. Anyway, I'm sorry I went rambling. I know a lot of you think I hate Roman. I don't hate him. It just they push him sky's the limit. Okay, and it's gonna happen to the next ten years or twenty years for the next superstar. You know, it's it's like a repeating cycle, and it's ridiculous. But anyway, W don't give down if you complain. We we'll still watch the product regardless. Um, so Finn Balor never got his one on one rematch because he got hurt and then he had forfeit the belt. So. I love to see Finn Balor versus Brock, but is that really a um, fair fight for Finn Balor? No, he'll get his um, butt kicked. He'll get dominated by Brock Lesnar. So only that will happen if they have a a, um, a stipulation. So I don't know. I don't know if anybody wants to see Brock Lesnar versus Finn Balor main event at SummerSlam for the Universal Title. In my opinion, I think Finn Balor should just get shipped to SmackDown Live if they have another shake-up or a trade because he's not doing nothing on Raw. You know, it's ridiculous. And I missed the painting thing, but I don't know. I guess he got tired of it. I don't know. So I'll put the article down below. So what would be a good opponent for him, Lesnar, besides Roman Reigns, okay? Be honest and uh, leave a comment down below. I think eventually... Um, Braun Strowman will cash in and become the new Universal Champion before this year is over with. Have a good one and I'll see you sometime on the flip side. Thank you very much for listening. Sorry I went a little, a little overboard and I'm sorry that I go deep about John Cena and Roman. This is just my theory, okay? I'm not no hater. I'll just give my thoughts on it. That's it. Later.